Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about current transformer ISF that is instrument safety factor versus accuracy limit factor that is ALF. So in this video, I will discuss what are the difference between instrument safety factor and accuracy limit factor of a CT. Instrument safety factor is a parameter is applicable for the metering class CT. An accuracy limit factor that is ALF is parameter is applicable for protection class CT. But uh, instrument safety factor and accuracy limit factor definition is same that is the ratio of the CT saturation current to the CT rated current under rated burden condition. So I will elaborate by means of an example. CT ratio is 400 by 1 where ISF is less than 5 for 20 VA. 20 VA is the burden of the CT. So instrument safety factor is less than 5 under rated burden of 20 VA. So if rated burden, there is a CT secondary burden is 20 VA, then if 5 times of the rated current flows in the primary side, then CT will saturate for metering core. And ALF, there is accuracy limit factor mentioned as 5 P20 under burden of 20 VA. So here 5 means accuracy class, 20 means protection class, 20 means accuracy limit factor. So if 20 times of the rated current flow in the primary side, then maximum error will be 5% under rated burden condition. Rated burden means if CT secondary burden is 20 VA. Now ISF is provided in order to safeguard the instrument which is connected in the CT secondary side for metering class CT. So most of the metering that is the M meter, watt meter are provided for maximum current rating of 5 ampere. That is why ISF as mentioned as less than 5 for metering class CT. So if more than five times current flows under rated burden condition, then CT will saturate so that it will set the instrument which is connected in the CT secondary side. So here the CT ratio is 400 by one. So five times of the rated current that is five into 400 is equal to 2000 ampere current flows in the primary side, then CT secondary current will be five ampere. So under fault condition, if more than uh, 2000 ampere current flows in the primary current, then CT will saturate. So there will be no increase of the CT secondary current. So the instrument which is connected in the CT secondary side will not detect or sense this current. So hence uh, the CT secondary uh, side instrument will uh, protect uh, by means of the CT saturation. So that is why instrument safety factor is provided for metering class CT. Now, since uh, ISF is provided, we can calculate the saturation voltage. Saturation voltage Vs is equal to ISF R, that is the rated ISF, which is provided in the name plate. Here, ISF R is equal to 5 into RCT plus RR. Here, RCT is the CT secondary resistance and RR is the rated burden in terms of ohm. So here rated burden is 20 VA. Since CT secondary rated current is 1 ampere, we can calculate RR in terms of ohm. So I square R is equal to 20 VA. So R is equal to 20 by 1 square, which is equal to 20 ohm. So we can calculate the actual ISF for the metering class CT which is equal to Vs, that is the saturation voltage divided by RCT plus RR, that is the actual burden which is connected in the CT secondary side. So actual ISF is equal to ISF R, that is the ISF which is provided in the CT nameplate into RCT plus RR divided by RCT plus RA. So in this formula, we can conclude that if RA is less than RR, then ISF actually will be more, which is not good for the instruments, which is connected in the CT secondary side for metering class. Okay. Uh, CT secondary resistance 
mention that two ohm. So ISF is provided as less than five and a rated burden that is 20 VA. So RR that is the rated uh, burden in terms of ohm is equal to 20 ohm. So RA, RA let, let us assume that uh, actual burden that is actual load which is connected in the CD secondary side is 5 ohm. So ISF actual is equal to 5 since ISF is provided as 5 into RCT which is equal to 2 plus RR which is 20 divided by RCT plus RA. RCT is equal to 2 and RA is equal to 5. So it is equal to 5 into 22 divided by 7 that is equal to 15.7. So although ISF is equal to less than 5 for metering plus CT, since actual burden is 5 ohm, the ISF actual comes as 15.7. That is, if 15.7 types of primary current flows in the uh, CT primary side, then CT will saturate. So CT saturation uh, current will increase here under rated burden actual burden changing condition since actual burden is uh, 5 ohm which is one fourth of the rated burden that is why ISF comes as more than three times of the rated ISF protection class CT uh, that is the 5p20 5 is the accuracy class and 20 is the accuracy limit factor under rated burden that is 20 VA. So we can calculate the value of the saturation voltage for protection class CT that is VS is equal to accuracy limit factor into RCT plus RR. RR is the rated burden in terms of ohm. Since CT secondary current is 1 ampere and rated burden is 20 VA, RR is equal to 20 ohm. So Vs is equal to 20 into 2 plus 20 that is equal to 440 volt. Now as per ISF, the accuracy limit factor also varies under the variation of the actual CT burden. Now let us consider that uh, RA is equal to actual burden, then accuracy limit factor in actual is equal to Vs divided by RCT plus RA. So here Vs, that is the saturation voltage is equal to ALF into RCT plus R divided by RCT plus RA. So again, here if RA is less than R, R, that is the actual CT burden is less than rated burden of the CT, then accuracy limit factor will increase. Again, if RA, that is the actual burden of the CT secondary side is more than RR, that is the rated burden, then accuracy limit factor will decrease. Actual burden of the CT secondary side is 5 ohm. So since Vs, that is the saturation voltage is 440 volt, so actual accuracy limit factor, uh, that is ALF A is equal to Vs divided by RCT plus RA. Here RA is equal to 5 and RCT is equal to 2, which comes as 440 divided by 7 is equal to 62.8 times. So although as per nameplate, uh, accuracy limit factor is 20 under rated burden of 20 VA, since actual burden is one fourth of that of the rated burden, that is 5 VA, in terms of 20 VA of the rated burden, the actual accuracy limit factor which comes as 62.8 that is more than three times of the rated accuracy limit factor. Okay, so friends, if you like my video, then please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching this video.